Previously, we have seen that a bra multiplied by a ket gives us the inner product, which is a complex number. What happens when we have a ket multiply with a bra? In this case, we shall aptly call this an outer product. Unlike the inner product, the outer product yields a matrix instead, whose dimensionality is determined by the dimensionality of the DNB ket. In this video, we introduce the outer product, and from which we derive the completeness relations, and how it can be a very useful tool in deriving the matrix representation of an operator. Let's consider the D and B ket which lives in the N and M dimensional vector spaces respectively. The outer product B ket multiply with D bra can be written explicitly in terms of their column and row vectors. It is straightforward to see that the outer product is a matrix. Since the B ket lives in a M dimensional vector space, while the bra D lives in a N dimensional vector space, the matrix is of dimension M by N. Recall that a M by N matrix, when operates on a N dimensional column vector, will yield a M dimensional column vector. Thus, we call the outer product an operator, which maps a vector from the vector space V, of dimension N, to the vector space W, of dimension M. The outer product allows us a convenient way of demonstrating the completeness relation, as we will show in this slide. Consider an orthonormal basis set in the n-dimensional vector space V, namely B1, B2 and so on. We define an operator A, which is the sum of outer products, where each outer product is constructed from the ket B sub J multiplied with its bra counterpart. The operator A is thus a n by n matrix. Much akin to the concept of basis vectors in representing a vector, the matrix, A, can also be enumerate with a defined set of basis vectors. Here, we shall use the B sub J kets as our basis set. To reveal the matrix elements of A, at row K and column L, we simply sandwich the A, with the A sub K bra on the left and the A sub L ket on the right. Using the orthogonality properties, we can show that the matrix element is a delta function of K and L. This means that the matrix elements are 1 if K is equal to L. Otherwise, they are zero, which describe a diagonal matrix with diagonal elements equal to one. Hence, A, is simply the identity matrix. To summarize, the completeness relation simply states that the sum of outer products constructed from an orthonormal basis set of kets is the identity operator. Now, let's take this a step further. Consider the general case of a linear operator, A, which maps a vector from the vector space V to W, where D kets and B kets are the respective orthonormal basis set of these vector spaces. We can multiply A, on the left and right by the identity matrix, of dimension M by M and N by N respectively. Using the completeness relation, we can write the identity in terms of outer products of D kets and B kets, as we shown in previous slide. With some algebra, we obtain the matrix elements of the operator, A, expressed in terms of the basis B sub K and D sub J of these two vector spaces, corresponding to an input vector DJ and output vector BK. In summary, given an operator, A, which maps a vector from the vector space V to W, where D kets and B kets are the respective orthonormal basis set of these vector spaces. We can write the operator, A, in terms of a sum of outer products, spanned by the B bras product with D kets, where the coefficients is the matrix element of the operator, A. In similar fashion, using the completeness relation, it allow us to express a general vector B ket in terms of a sum of the orthonormal basis vectors B sub J, where the vector elements is given by the inner product of B sub J ket with B ket. In summary, the completeness relation provide a formal way of enumerating the matrix elements of an operator, and the vector elements of a vector. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes. Join our Free Science Academy Discord channel to discuss science and technology. High school students are welcome to join and post your questions, we will answer them during our free time.